One person who knows all about the culture and life in the city of Dubrovnik and in Croatia in general is a guy who spent seven summers here playing in Hamlet in the summer festival. He's also been over in the United States for a little while. You may know him from NBC's ER. He's one of the stars of that show. And he is Goran Viznich, and he's now coming back, taking a little time off from shooting in Hollywood to be back in his home country. Goran, good to see you. It's a good pleasure. You, man. So you? I know you weren't born here. You were born a little bit to the north of here, right? Yeah, it's about 200 miles north. It's a city called Shibenik. It's kind of like, looks pretty much similar like Dubrovnik, but without actually city walls. And so how often yeah. do you get to go come back, and how much of your family still lives there? Uh, all my family is here. Uh, my wife is uh, back with me in Los Angeles, but all my parents, my brother, who's actually here with me today, uh, we just drove up from uh, Shibenik and, uh, you know, it's about 200 miles, a nice drive on a coast. Yeah, it's a beautiful oh coast. The God. road, though, is a little bit hairy, a lot of, a lot of hairpin-type turns. No, but that's what makes it cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. We, we enjoy it a little. Let me ask you what your memories are of Dubrovnik. Again, growing up to the north of here, what were your memories of this city? Well, first time I came here was actually uh, when I when I did Hamlet, and I was I was coming back here for seven summers every summer, and uh, in the show it was all my colleagues, all my friends, which I knew since I was like teenager basically, and uh, it was just a remarkable experience. We did the first show, war was still going on. Right. We a couple of times we couldn't land on the airport. We, we we were supposed to circle around the air because they've been bombing the airport still that day. Then we would like kind of do quick crash landing on the airport. They would do the show. It was kind of crazy, but it was, the city was empty. There was no press. There was no uh, tourists, only tourists from Croatia. You know, it was like, it was kind of hairy, but... You mentioned the war. I mean, one of the things that I think shocked the people in Dubrovnik so much and around the world was that this city was bombed, even though it had no strategic importance to the conflict, no military value. The, the front lines were hundreds of miles for here. Yeah. That was, that was the thing that everybody was really, really pissed off in Croatia because, uh, like you said, there was no strategic importance and it was, it was just pure, like, vandal kind of act of, I don't know what they wanted to accomplish with it, you know. But, you know, the good thing is war was a long time ago. We, we kind of try not to think about it so much. We like to remember it because it happened and we, we want to kind of... It, we want it to be present in our memories, but now we, we just want to concentrate on this, you know, that you guys come here, we want to show this city to the world, we want to show our country to the world, and it's really nice vacation spot, and I want everybody to see this, because I'm proud of it. Well, know? I was going to ask you, I had a question down here, I was going to say, can you come here and be anonymous, and I don't know if one of our Forget camera guys that. can spin around for a second and show, well, you know, you've been here an hour or two, and we've got the paparazzi here already finding you, I saw them shooting up an alley at you while you were eating, what's it like for you here in terms of your star status? Well, let me tell you a great thing. That's why I like to spend most of my time in my hometown because there it's kind of like I'm, I'm like a normal person because everybody knows I'm from there, my parents live right. there, and I just enjoy myself over there. And we're going to, uh, next year, we're going to probably shoot the ER over there, and that's going to be really fun. And, you know, we're going to have much less of this, you know. And uh, everybody knows me there. It's kind of a little bit different. You know, when I come here, I was performing Hamlet here for seven years. I'm not here every day. Last time I was in Dubrovnik, it was five years ago. So it's a little bit probably unusual to see me. If I stay here like five more days, you wouldn't see any of this. You know, they get people bored would, of you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gore on his back again. You know. So, yeah. Well, it's nice to have you back again, and, and thanks for sticking around. I know you're going to head back to Los Angeles and continue shooting. So it's been yeah. a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, Goran. Safe Thank trip you for home. coming. Thanks. Thank you.